the country house restaurant. It's a beautiful house. It's beeping. The curtains on the door started to move on their own. The Stony Brook Grist Mill. My name is Nicholas. I am a young paranormal investigator in search of proof of the spirit world. I am also a person that can easily sense and feel spirit energy around me. I am joined by my grandmother, Helen, my uncle and cameraman, William, and my father and executive producer, Nick. We will search for ghosts at some of the world's most creepiest haunts. This is a haunted legacy. Our next mission takes place in Stony Brook, Long Island, New York. In this town, there are two haunted places that we'll be investigating. The Country House Restaurant and the Stony Brook Grist Mill. My grandmother Helen and I headed out immediately. Our cameraman, William, and our executive producer, Nick, couldn't make it because they were working at their business. So we started off with the Country House Restaurant. Constructed in 1710, the Country House has three names, which are the 1710 House, the Hathaway House, and finally, in 1978, the Country House Restaurant. The home is said to be haunted by ghosts. One spirit is a young female named Annette Williamson. She was violently murdered by British soldiers. When we arrived at the country house, my grandma Helen and I started filming. And we made sure the restaurant was empty and vacant of all customers. I took out a new piece of ghost hunting gear called the Ghost Meter EMF Meter which measures electromagnetic field. It immediately started to go off when I turned it on, indicating that there's a spirit around me. It's rolling EVP. Okay, Annette Williamson, are you here? Make yourself known to me, Annette. Whoa, Grandma, come here. It's beeping. Grandma, it's beeping. Grandma, look. Look, look, look. Then, I thought I heard a very clear disembodied voice, and it sounds like a female. Grandma, look. Look, look, look. To me, the voice sounds like it's saying no. If this young woman is haunting this place, she's going to find it beeping all over. Yeah. I then went by the bar, and I continued rolling on my voice recorder. Anna, can you talk to me? Right there, you can hear what sounds like footsteps coming from the second floor of the house. Here's a replay. Anna, can you talk to me? All of this activity was intense. We interviewed the owner, Bob Williamston. While we were talking to him, we didn't know if he was camera shy, so we hid his identity. We have more than one. Yeah, her name is like Annette Williamson. Or, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And cool. wasn't she hung like from the second floor or something or no, anything? She was like hung. Um, yeah, I saw that on the website. You yeah, know. that's an urban legend I started like 35 years ago. I don't know, one day you made up the story about how she was hung in town. Hey, it became an urban legend. Wait, where's the room? For you 30 know? years. The local townspeople. Um, violently murdered here because they thought she was a British spy. Oh, and, um, the, 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 the colonial days. Pre, yeah, the early settlement days, the early 1700s. 
We just found out from the owner that Annette Williamson was murdered in one room in particular. He pointed out the room to us. One of the waiters at the country house showed us a photo that he took on his phone. It appears to be an apparition up in the ceiling. Could this be the spirit of Annette Williamson? When I got in the room, I did an EVP session, but I didn't capture any voices. But I was able to capture something else shocking. The curtains on the door started to move on their own with no air conditioning. All of this activity at the Country House restaurant was absolutely an amazing capture. I now took out a thermal imaging camera on my iPad mini to see if I can capture any spirits. Then I went by the curtains and did another EVP session. I didn't receive anything on my thermal camera, so I moved to another part of the house. see anything on thermal but here at the country house it is a very comfortable feeling here because it's warm but that's about to change because we might feel some heavy energy Is that you, Annette? Annette? <sighs> I investigated the entire house, and I did one more EVP session of the building. But the entire time I was filming, I didn't receive anything. So we wrapped up our investigation at the Country House restaurant. So we just got a lot of evidence at this place, and that's very surprising. It's a beautiful house. It really is. You see those windows up there? That's where they capture a lot of cool photos. We're now heading to another haunted place in the town of Stony Brook. The Stony Brook Grist Mill. This is the Stony Brook Grist Mill. It was originally built in 1699, but in the 1700s, this old mill, the original mill, was washed away. An entire flood came in. Then 300 years later, in 1999, they built this new one here. It is now time for me to go investigate this historic mill. I went behind the mill. I rolled on my voice recorder for several minutes. But the whole time I was rolling, I didn't capture any voices. So I went by the river. There have been claims of hearing screams from behind the mill, but most of the time they're heard by the river. I went up the stairs on the side of the building and caught up with Helen. The ghost meter wasn't going off either. Then we concluded our investigation at the Stony Brook Grist Mill. We came to Stony Brook, New York in search of the paranormal. But even though William and Nick couldn't make it with us to this mission, Helen and I were able to capture some compelling evidence at the Country House restaurant, for example. 
like a female disembodied voice, footsteps coming from the second floor, even some curtains moving. After the investigation, we showed William and Nick the evidence that we captured, and they were absolutely amazed. And our conclusion to the Stony Brook Grist Mill is, are the spirits haunting the new mill that was built to replace the old one, or the river behind it? <laughs>